Hi, well I wanted to uh, show um, the uh, performance that the uh, new Coxis, uh, Doxis 3.1 system is providing for me. Um, I'm using an Aris SV8200 modem. Right now I'm connected up with my uh, computer um, directly to the modem and I'm running Ping Plotter Pro and I'm doing it in um, in TCP mode um, and I'm doing it on port 53 to the DNS server. So I'm doing a really, a real, real world test. Um, not using ICMP or ping, but using TCP and to the DNS server, which is a really good um, target to test to. Um, it's close by and it really shows the network um, variations. Um, it's remarkable. Um, I'm really getting jitter levels at like one millisecond or less, like 0.8. Um, my average um, overall latency is about eight. Um, you can see that it's just it's really really clean. This is uh, jitter up here, and this is all like one millisecond of jitter, maybe even less. So this is it's really quite remarkable. Um, I'm pinging um, 30 times a second, so I'm getting a really good um, temporal resolution of what I'm looking at. Um, so that's that's 30 times a second that I'm making that test, and um, it's it's producing just really amazingly great performance. Um, this is 0.7 milliseconds average of jitter, and uh, 7.9 milliseconds average um, latency to the DNS server, which is just really amazing, and it's extremely clean. Um, the top of this, that you know, this is 10 milliseconds up here. So this is really an amazingly clean chart. Um, if I look at it at a bigger scale, let's look at it at like 30 minutes. Um, I've been doing some other testing, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But you can see that this is just remarkably clean. There's, it's interesting. Uh, Doxis 3.1, when they switched over, it produced this, this kind of strange periodic um, variation, which um, isn't any big deal, but it seems to be doing some type of, I would guess, load averaging, or I'm not sure what it's doing, but um, that started when it started, uh, when we went over to Doxis 3.1. Um, what also occurred when we went over Doxis 3.1 for a reason I don't quite understand is there is a there is a spike that occurs every one hour and five minutes exactly um, that's only about 20 milliseconds so it's also meaningless but there's a there's a regular spike that that occurs for there too I'm sure that's all network um, uh, load balancing or live who knows what that is but it's all it's no problem of course because it's very very tiny amounts um, okay so um, curious results. Um, so these 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 that you see here um, are quite interesting. Let me go back to these. These are the ones that I can show real clearly. Um, what I did was I ran a uh, speed test um, to see how much the latency changed when I ran the speed test. Um, so that that's a really interesting test because um, what was amazing is this is where the speed test was running pulling 300 megabits per second down, 360 megabits per second down, and it, it affected latency almost not at all. So that's a remarkable result because what that means is that if you've got somebody that's pulling 300 megabits per second down or you've got a bunch of people using YouTube or something like that on your network, it's not going to affect gaming or anything else that's latency related. Um, that's a really remarkable achievement that you can run 360 megabits per second in a download and it doesn't affect anyone else <laughs> that's 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 amazing now the weird part was when I got to the upload part of the test latency dropped which is really odd to explain but I guess maybe quality of service kicked in and somehow passed me through a different a different arrangement which lowered the latency while I was doing the doing the upload part which is even more remarkable so it means that when you're uploading you're actually improving <laughs> gaming performance and DNS lookups so that that's really bizarre that's it's really impressive actually so um, you can see that I ran the test three times um, got every once in a while I get little bits of packet loss um, little unbelievably tiny amounts um, during the beginning of an upload test but this doesn't really mean anything you can see this chart's just incredibly clean um, so, um, I'm going to go out to a little bit wider time frame here. Um, this was where I was uploading a YouTube video. 
So that was kind of remarkable. So during my upload of a YouTube video, my latency almost halved. So, so if I was gaming and uploading a YouTube video at the same time, it would actually be better for gaming. <laughs> I would have a better latency. That's remarkable performance. That just really is. Remember, I'm, this is TCP. This is an ICMP. This is TCP that I'm testing here. So this is real world. So um, anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to demonstrate that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go down to a 60 second plot and we'll get this to be current. Reset the focus to current. And, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make this a little smaller. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to run a, uh, a uh, speed test. Uh, DSL DSL report speed test um, while we're doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the speed test. Flip back over here. What we'll be able to do is we'll be able to watch this. And here it goes. So now we're pulling down 350 megabits per second. And notice it didn't, it had a little tiny spike, but it didn't really affect latency. It's gained some more jitter but very little even jitter. It's only doing 2 milliseconds of jitter. I mean, that's almost nothing. Okay, so now we're done with that. But now look, now we're into the upload test, and it actually dropped latency, which is just kind of remarkable. And as the test gets to be finished up here, it'll pop back up. It's a, it's a fairly remarkable <laughs> result. Um, and it does show the Cox network and DOCSIS 3.1 is an amazing improvement. Um, it really does produce just remarkable network performance. Um, they're going to switch on the gigabit aspects of it in about three days. I wanted to get some baseline plots and uh, some testing down before they did that, but I don't expect anything to change. Um, but um, what this means is that if you get a DOCSIS 3.1 modem um, and you use it even on the lower tiers, it's going to have an immense um, effect on it, on your performance, because you'll be able to use your full tier and really not affect latency at all, which is, which is really just remarkable. It's kind of weird to think that you could be pulling down huge amounts of bandwidth and then not affect latency. So um, that's a really, really awesome result.